Hey guys! Today I am going to be presenting to you the difference between leap years versus normal years. So what is the difference between these two? Okay, leap years. What we mean by a leap year is a year that has an additional day added to February. This is to help keep the calendar year synchronized with the astronomical or seasonal year. In these cases, February is extended to 29 days rather than the common 28, which means that in that year, there will be 366 days instead of the usual 365. How do we calculate leap years? In order for that particular year to be a leap year, then it must be evenly divisible by 4. Therefore, years divisible by 100 cannot be considered leap years unless they are also evenly divisible by 400. For example, 200, no, 20, 20 divided by 4 is 505. This shows that 2020, which was 2 years ago, was a leap year. The next upcoming leap year will be 2024. 2024 divided by 4, which is equals to 506, shows that it is a leap year. Whereas if you do 2019 divided by 4, it gives you 4, no, 504.75. Nope, so it's not evenly divisible by 4. Dividing 2019 by 4 gives us a decimal answer. Examples of leap year. As you can see here, 2024 starts on a Monday. See, the 1 is pointing at the Monday, so it's like underneath. However, one extra day is added to February, as you can see here. Therefore, this extends it to 29 days. March now starts on the same day as 2019's calendar. 2019 and 2013 have the same calendars, so yes. So thus, we can see here that 2024 is a leap year. Examples of normal years. Years like 2026, 2015, 2022 and 2011 are all normal years. This is because February has the usual 28 days and all of these years are not divisible by 4. Do calendars for leap years repeat? In general, leap years repeat every 28 years. The last leap year was 2020, so the calendar will thus repeat itself in 2048. 2020 plus 8 equals to 2048 is how we know this. The same thing goes for 2000. The calendar repeats itself in 2028. How we know this is because 2000 plus 28 equals 2028. So yes, they repeat every 28 years. Just because a year ends in a 4 or an 8, does that indicate it is a leap year? Nope. Not all years that end in a 4 or 8 are considered leap years. For example, just because 2014 ends in a 4 does not mean it's a leap year. Just because 2018 ends in an 8 also does not mean it's a leap year. 2038 and 2034 are also not leap years. So it is incorrect for you to say that all years ending in 4 or 8 are leap years. And the same thing goes for non-leap years. Just because all of it is like ending in 6, they're not all non-leap years. Like 2016, 2036, 2056 and so on and so forth. They're all considered leap years as they're divisible by 4. 2006 and 2026 are not leap years. So that's how we know this. So thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos updated weekly.